Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I have to come on here and spill this Javante Davis tea, okay? So this entire situation is crazy. So if you guys do not know, this past weekend was Super Bowl weekend. So everybody and their mama was in Miami, honey. So he was at this celebrity charity basketball game. And all of a sudden, people are filming him. And you see him walk up to his baby's mother. And he literally grabs her by the neck and lifts her out her seat and then proceeds to force her out of the damn venue. This video was so unnerving. I want you guys to go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Honey. All right, you guys just saw that disturbing video. So, of course, once that went viral, and this happened like at one o'clock in the morning, folks were going crazy on social media. People started dragging Javanta, and I follow him on Instagram, okay? So, most of the people that I follow on Instagram are sports people, believe it or not. So, he's one of the few people that I follow on Instagram. So, then in the morning, somebody hit me up and they're like, Do you notice like all of Javante's pictures are gone? And I go to his page, and he deleted all of his pictures because he couldn't handle the comments. Um, the page was still public but he deleted everything and then later on that day he took the social media to basically state his side of the story y'all go ahead and check this out so Javanta says this he says I never once hit her yeah I was aggressive and I told her come on that's the mother of my child I would never hurt her other than that happy new year's January was trash honey all right y'all just heard what Javante Davis had to say and this is my issue okay this is my issue with Javante Ike eat the cake at a head ass turner okay this is my issue if he could be that brazen to grab her like that in public, in front of hundreds of people. This man is the WBA lightweight champion, okay? He just won a, a championship not even a few weeks ago. You are the Tupac of boxing, okay, Javante? All eyes on you. Literally, everybody's watching your moves. Like, you guys could just hear how shocked the spectators were watching that. And my issue is this. If he could do that publicly in front of hundreds of people, knowing he's being watched like a Tupac, imagine what goes on behind closed doors. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, not exactly, you mm -hmm. know. I mean, but you, you do have your own style. <laughs> your own style, uh-huh. Uh-huh, what's wrong? All right, y'all just saw that damn video. I know I'm a mess for showing that and using their faces, but the point is, you know, I mean, so many women suffer in silence. And this is where, as a woman, you need to ask yourself, is that lifestyle worth it? Because trust me, she's dealing with it because of who he is. He's getting money. Let's not forget a few months ago, she had to take him to court because the only time he would take care of his daughter was that she would do sexual favors for him. She would have sex with him. And if she wasn't willing to, then he wouldn't give her any money for the baby. So she ended up taking him to court and the court ruled against Javante and he's being told to pay $10,000 a month in child support, okay? So that might be where some of the issue is. He might be, you know, salty or mad about that. But this is some other tea that I'm hearing. The guy that she was with, that was her date. A lot of people think that her and Javante are together. They're not. They've been broken up, okay? He's dated numerous women. His last relationship was with Ari, who is G Herbo's baby's mother, okay? Who now is no longer with Javante Davis. She's now dating Meg Thee Stallion's ex-boyfriend, Moneybag Yo. And matter of fact, it was just announced the other day that she was slapping Moneybag Yo, you know what I'm saying, at a club in Miami. So all these people are damn crazy, you know what I'm saying? The whole industry's messing with each other. And and a lot of folks don't know how to keep their damn hands to themselves. But like I was saying, this is where the baby's mother needs to decide if her peace and sanity is worth more than even dealing with him. Because I feel like he got into some type of jealous rage because he's seen her out on a date with her guy. Um, that's the guy who gets up and, you know, kind of walks off. And my thing is, if it's fair for you to go around dating whoever and living your best life, why can't she move on and date who she wants to date? So I just, I wasn't feeling that. I don't know if she said something to him or if they were 
were words exchanged, but the fact that he handled her like that in public did not sit well with me and it did not sit well with a lot of people. So now on top of that, MMA champion Kayla Harrison is now speaking about the situation. TMZ ran into her and this is what she had to say. You guys go ahead and check this out. Javante Davis, he was just filmed. He grabbed his baby mama by the ne by the like sh neck shoulder area and escorted her out of a charity basketball game. An aggressive, nasty, it was a, it was a bad look. Completely inappropriate and wild. Yeah, I mean, first of all, I, I'm in a violent <laughs> field of business. That's, that's never acceptable, ever, 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 ever. No, 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 if, if you were to give some wisdom to Javante, what would you tell him? <laughs> Keep your hands off other human beings and treat them with respect, or <laughs> karma's gonna get you. Especially women. Of course, especially women. I mean, all human beings, but like, there's a very, I mean, there's a line, and I think that we as women have very clearly established that um, we're not taking any shit anymore, and that's not okay. It's never gonna be okay again, and. Um, I hope that he has some repercussions for his actions. Right. Now, now some women catch themselves in those situations. How do they defend themselves? What do you, what do you say is the best, you know, You want me to give a self-defense course right now? Because <laughs> no. I totally could. So, something simple, like, well, what do they do? If someone puts your hands on you, right. well, first of all... A stronger male, like uh, the Devontae uh, Davis. I mean, I would go for a nut shot right away. Eyes, anything that's dirty, nasty, mean, wow. bite. When I, I mean, if it's a very serious situation, like, and you're, in, and you're in danger, save yourself by any means necessary. Scream. Instead of screaming, you know, rape or whatever, scream fire. You know, people will run to help someone at a fire. People don't run to help someone when they say rape. Is the nut shot most effective, you think? I mean, I've never had to kick anyone in the balls, but I'm assuming, I don't know, I don't have, I don't have nuts. You tell me. All right, so you guys just saw what Kayla had to say. So like I said, you know, Javante needs to really watch his moves because, again, everybody's watching him. He's a champion, and you cannot be moving like this, especially when it comes to a female, especially when it comes to your baby's mother. Even if you didn't hit her, the way you just manhandled her was just crazy. I mean, just listen to the crowd's reaction once again. They were shocked by what they were witnessing, and that was not okay. And like I said, if somebody's willing to do that to you in public and embarrass you like that in front of hundreds of people, what happens when they're in private and it's just the two of them or she's dropping off the daughter that's really scary all right you guys so we have some breaking news concerning Gervonta Davis so after I recorded this video um basically news leaked that Gervonta Davis was arrested for everything that went down in Florida um people recorded video of him being arrested and this is what's being reported by TMZ they're saying Javante Davis has been arrested for domestic violence for roughing up his ex-girlfriend at a celebrity basketball game in Florida. Cops confirm. The boxing superstar, currently the WBA's lightweight champion, surrendered to the Coral Gables Police Department on Tuesday for the February 1st incident. Cops say that the 25-year-old is facing one count of simple battery domestic violence. As we previously reported, Davis was seen grabbing and ripping his ex-girlfriend, the mother of his child, out of her seat during a heated altercation at the game. The argument continued backstage. Cops say as a result of an ongoing investigation after being notified through social media and the victim on February 1st, 2020, Davis was observed battering his former girlfriend, whom they have a child together. Davis surrendered himself to the Coral Gables police detectives assigned to the case. For his part, Davis put out a statement over the weekend denying striking the woman. I never once hit her. Yeah, I was aggressive and I told her, come on, Davis said. That's the mother of my child. I would never hurt her. Davis is a rising superstar in the boxing world. He's Floyd Mayweather's protege and has racked up an impressive 23-0 record as a pro with victories over guys like Yorkios Gamboa and Jose Padizra. Davis has had a bunch of legal issues over the years. He was arrested for assault back in 2017. After allegedly punching a friend, the charge was later dropped. He was arrested again in 2018 for a street fight in Washington, D.C. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys these two clips. Go ahead and check this out. On WJZ is following breaking news right now. Javonda Davis has been arrested and charged following this altercation caught on cell phone camera over the weekend in Miami. Now, Davis is seen forcibly removing a woman from her seat, escorting her out of the event. It happened at a charity basketball game. Davis, of course, is from Baltimore and the current lightweight champion, but he now lives and trains in Atlanta. Oh, my man right there getting to put it on his phone. Oh. 
All right, so you guys just saw those clips. So this entire situation is really sad. You know, I hope they're able to figure everything out. I don't think that Javante is a bad guy. I don't know what all happened. I don't know the backstory, but I hope he gets some help because, again, he's going through the ranks. A lot of people really support him in the boxing and he doesn't need stuff like this tainting what he's trying to do. So he needs to get on the up and up. He needs to do the right thing. And he definitely needs to control his temper because that temper is what's going to land him in hot water if he does not learn how to control it. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Javante Davis. How do you guys feel about that? Do you feel like he was all the way out of pocket for the way he approached her and grabbed her? And then how do you guys feel about what Kayla Harrison had to say about the situation as well? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Make sure you thumbs up the video. And most importantly, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad, honey. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.